Let's take a look at our two Q plugs that are used in deep water hydroponic culture. On this side is a 3050 plug, and on this side is a 2540. You'll notice how they sit different in the raft. The 3050 will always be up above the raft. And what this does is it gives you this area that will stay drier at the crown of your plant. I feel that this gives you a much better chance of preventing disease in leafy greens. I've got other customers that prefer this plug to sit down flush in the raft and that's been fine and they've had great success with it. When you turn this over, you notice the difference with the depth of those plugs into the pond. This plug has good contact with it and no problems with any of the water. This 3050, although you see it's much less into the water, that's plenty for the plug to pull moisture all the way up to the very top. Culturally speaking, the 3050 plug will take more space in your propagation. You're looking at 75 plugs per 10 by 20 tray. You're gonna be able to grow your plug longer in propagation and that'll give you less production time in your raft in the deep water. The 3050 gives you more leeway on your timing. So you have a little bit of a buffer because of the size of the plug and if you're using our energy tray, then that even gives you more because of the open bottom. On the 2540, it's a much tighter spacing. So you're looking at 128 plugs in a nursery, standard nursery tray. You're gonna to have to turn that crop in two weeks and you're gonna to wanna to stay on schedule. So you've got less wiggle room to mess with your schedule and then you're gonna end up with more time in the raft. The overall crop time is going to be the same. It depends on where you wanna spend more time. Your space in the raft, is usually the most expensive space. So I like to keep more time on propagation, which is denser and less expensive per square foot. For more information, please go to iHort.com or give us a call at the number at the bottom of the screen.